Chancellor Olaf Scholz, distinguished guests, Guten Tag, or as they say in Kiel, Moin Moin. <laughs> My wife, Ho Ching, and I are very honored to be here today at the launch of not just one, but two of the Republic of Singapore Navy's four Invincible class submarines. The first submarine, the Invincible, was launched by Professor Ivy Ng when she and Dr. Ng Eng Hen, the Defense Minister, visited Germany in February 2019, and we're very happy to have them here with us today. Personnel from the Republic of Singapore Navy and the Defense Science Technology Agency, as well as TKMS, adapted and worked tirelessly to keep up the momentum of this project over these last two difficult years. Singapore and Germany are like-minded partners with close people-to-people -people ties and strong cooperation across many areas. Just last month, I was delighted to host Chancellor Schultz in Singapore during his trip to our region. And his visit reflected the excellent state of relations between our two countries, as well as Germany's strong interest in the Asia-Pacific. Today, Chancellor Schultz has joined us again to mark this milestone for the Republic of Singapore Navy. I'm honored and delighted once again, and I thank Chancellor Schultz and the German government for their support and affirmation. Defense relations between Singapore and Germany are warm and growing. They are anchored on the Defense Cooperation Agreement, which was first established in 2005, and later enhanced in 2018. Germany continues to support training and live firing for the, the SAF's German-made Leopard tanks in the Oberlositz military training area. This year, Singapore hosted the German frigate, the FGS Bayern, and the German Air Force's Eurofighters and tankers for their inaugural regional deployments. Our Navy-to-Navy -Navy engagements have grown steadily, including through the newly established Submarine Affiliation Program. The two submarines being launched today are a tangible manifestation of our close and productive cooperation. I would like to thank TKMS and the German Navy for your strong support and sharing of expertise. Our collaboration on this strategic capability underscores the depth of our partnership and the trust between our navies and our defense industries. I'm confident that the relationship between Germany and Singapore will grow from strength to strength, and I look forward to more meaningful interactions between our militaries. Singapore is a maritime nation. We are highly reliant on the free and unimpeded movement of goods and services and materials across the sea for our prosperity and, indeed, survival. The RSN has the crucial mission of keeping our sea lines of communication open. Submarines provide the Republic of Singapore Navy an added capability to fulfill this role. The RSN has come a long way in building up its submarine force. In 1997, it launched its first submarine, a refurbished Swedish boat in service since the late 1960s. Year by year, the RSN overcame difficult challenges to build up its submarine knowledge, technical know-how, and experience. Now, the RSN is embarking on the next phase of its journey. The four Invincible-class submarines are the RSN's first new build boats and will bring modern and advanced capabilities to the Navy. Our defense scientists and engineers have worked closely with TKMS to modify the Type 214 submarine design and tailor the systems on board to suit Singapore's needs and operational requirements. For example, the submarines are designed to be operated by a small crew, critical given our small population. Advanced automation and sense-making will significantly increase the crew's ability to operate for prolonged periods at sea. Other modifications include an entirely new rudder drive system for high-precision maneuvers in our shallow waters, as well as ergonomic tweaks for our submariners' smaller frames 
that means we are just smaller built. Because we took considerable steps to custom design our submarines, they have been classified as a type of their own, the type 218SG. It's made in Germany, but uniquely Singapore. Of course, the submarine is only as good as its crew. So I say to our submariners, you carry the heavy and important responsibility of oper operationalizing these new subs. I encourage you to draw inspiration from our pioneers and demonstrate the same tenacity and commitment to excellence that they did. In the next months and years, you and your boats will be put through their paces. These submarines are swifter, quieter, and have more firepower and endurance than anything the RSN has operated before. You will have to translate the platform's new capabilities into new operating concepts and doctrines. And having done that, you can expect more challenging tasks and missions to be assigned to you. Lead your teams well and always hold dear to your mission to keep our maritime nation safe and secure, a mission which is more critical than ever in today's world. May the service of a new generation of submariners live up to the names impeccable and illustrious. Thank you very much.